Well, we're inside Veterans Memorial Stadium in the change room, in the locker room, and it's Free Jacks in 5, brought to you by Arbel Insurance, the home and auto insurance provider of the New England Free Jacks. I'm Dallin Stanford, lead commentator for World Rugby and Major League Rugby, but more importantly, next to me, the sensation LaRue Milan has been lighting up Major League Rugby this year, a new export from South Africa. Welcome to Free Jacks in 5, my friend. Thanks. Lovely to be here. I believe you're quite a media guru. Oh, I struggle. I'm working on it. That's why we're having this now, enjoying it as well. Let's go to your hometown. Where did you grow up? Tell us a bit about being a young uh, bookie in South Africa. Yeah, so I uh, grew up in Paul, about 40 minutes drive from Cape Town. Yeah, I loved growing up there, man. The weather is a bit warmer that side. Uh, it's also situated in a nice area, lovely schools all around the area. So I loved growing up there. Now, rugby comes out of Stellenbosch. There's so many great players. You've played against a lot of those players, I would imagine, in Major League Rugby, right? Yeah, I have, actually. Like you mentioned over yeah. commentary, there were lost a lot of Western Cape uh, contingent yeah. in the game, and it was awesome, man. It's good uh, seeing famous faces or familiar faces all around. Yeah. Let's talk about your family growing up there, brothers or sisters. Yeah, so one brother older than me. Um, we're very tight, so am I with my two sisters. They're still in high school in Paul Girls Eyes, so yeah, it's awesome. Family's been watching all hours of the night, tuning in to the Rugby Network, Fox Sports, watching yeah. you play, right? Yeah, Flip, man. they up every morning, 3 o'clock, watching me. It's awesome having the support, probably with a glass of wine in the hand, so <laughs> it's awesome, man. Let's talk about your name, because LaRue, sometimes as Africa, is a last name, a surname. Yes. How did you get it? So it's actually my grandmother's maiden name. As you would know, in the Afrikaans culture, it's quite common to... Um, get maiden names as a first name or actually rather family names. So yeah, I think uh, my, my father wanted to honor his mother in that. So it's awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. And now you, now you hit the big time, making headline news with that name as well, which is great. Yeah. Uh, let's touch on rugby in South Africa growing up. Of course, the Paul region produces many Springboks, brilliant rugby players. What was it like for you playing? Have you always been in the back line? Uh, tell us about your journey as a youngster. Yeah, I've always been in the back line, played a bit of 10. I'm um, growing up 10 and 12 mainly. So that's about it. Um, <laughs> What's there more to say about that? Yeah. Talk about university then. Uh, so yeah. uh, the Varsity Cup rugby in South Africa is a big deal. UCT, then my alma mater as well, generally struggled against the big powerhouse of Stellenbosch, but not when you were there, right? Yeah, I mean, we had an awesome coaching system back then and uh, also a lovely team culture as I've been experiencing this side too. I think that's also why I adapted so quickly and so well. Um, awesome coaching staff, lovely mates. So I think when we played Martis, there's just a... 100% confidence in and belief in the team, which is awesome. Yeah. Let's talk about off the field stuff. What are your other hobbies, interests? Oh man, I love exploring the city, love getting out a bit, um, love just escaping a bit from rugby, going thrift shopping, going to, I don't know, a lot of sporting events and all of that, which Boston is also well known for, actually going to the Bruins tonight, which I'm excited about. That's brilliant. Is there a fact that people don't know about you? Well, I was born in Namibia. I'm pretty sure a lot of people yeah. know this now, but yeah, yeah, I was born in Namibia and I'm left dominant. <laughs> so you could play for Namibia or South Africa technically, uh, and then if you stay here long enough, the USA. I could, yeah. Keeping my options open would be absolutely lovely. <laughs> Any embarrassing moments whatsoever on or off the rugby field that you can think of, perhaps? <sighs> Any embarrassing moments? Putting, I'm, just, I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, my haircut at the moment, <laughs> mate. <laughs> This tight jersey is my embarrassing yeah, moment. Yeah, you look good. I think it suits you. Rocks it. Uh, how did you get to the US? What was the what was the plan there? What was the thinking behind coming to America? I've always wanted to play rugby abroad. My father has always told me to keep my options open. So I think um, America is an awesome option when it presented itself. I've actually been following the league. So coming here, I think, testing my skills and everything. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it a lot. Let's talk about the league. So eight, eight rounds in, Free Jacks obviously dominating so far. Talk about your experience. Uh, what's it been like? What's the level been like? Yeah, it's cool, man. Um, it's very physical. I'm not used to making so many tackles, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying tasting another part of my game. Also skillful. I think the level is uh, very good and it's, it's growing. I think uh, the teams are way more competitive than pre previous years. So I'm enjoying that part of it. And also each game is a win or lose game, which is awesome. Let's quickly last message to your family in Afrikaans for us. Yeah, I spy you for your miss your your tight and genie glasses wine. Dislike it. Le Rumelan. Bye, thank you, your blixum. Cheers. Thank you, thank you.